Hello everyone, so today we'll see in my opinion the two best ways to create soft body. Keep in mind that you should use the easiest way and not waste time on user section. So, use the first way if you want to work with primitives such as sphere and the second if you work with a more complex mesh. Before starting, I just want to tell you that I've created an Instagram, so feel free to come and follow me, I will post on it content that I don't post on YouTube, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you liked what I do. Enough talk, let's start. So first, create a primitive like a torus and decrease the number of subdivision. It will be faster for the simulation. Open Typeflow, open editor, move the window and create a simple icon flow. Move the transmitter wherever you want. Put the number of particles you want in birth. Then go to shape and select your mesh. I just uh, reload shape. Go down and adjust the scale of your particles and the variation, maybe 50 and 25. Go back to speed and increase the particle speed a bit. Create a force and set the strength to minus one to simulate gravity. We can see that all particles are falling. I just increase the speed a little more. It's better. We will now create a plane that will be used to simulate the ground and collide with our object. I will create a collision and I will select the plane. Let's see if it works. Yeah, perfect. We will now convert all our object into close with close bind. As you can see, the object are covered, but the simulation uh, does not work correctly. So we go back to cloud bind. We go down and activate enable CUDA, self collision and self thickness. Okay, it's already a little better, but you are not yet satisfied. For that, it's very simple. We go in binding stiffness and we increase the volume. And above all, we increase the particle bind solver, maybe 50. And finally, we go to main setting and we decrease the time step. And yeah, much better. We can just add a turbo smooth to smoother mesh, and it's good. Beautiful soft body simulation. If you want your simulation to be even less soft, you can just decrease the time step even further. And here is the result. Quickly, in few clicks, how to convert simple object into soft body. For me, this is the best method when you work with simple object. Okay, I will show you now the second way to make soft body when we have a slightly more complicated mesh with variation in the topology. First, we create a type to setup. Open editor, move the window, and create a broad subject and select the mesh. Okay. Add a text to modify the subdivision of your mesh and put a value of 0.5, I think. Okay. We look over to cloud bind. Add a Kyrel modifier and cover your mesh with Edit Poly. We can now rename the mesh uh, LowQ for low quality. Okay. We now have a low poly version of the mesh. We can now create another typeflow setup. Oh, I just go back to the previous object to put the pivot in the center of the object. Okay, perfect. We come back to the new Typeflow setup and we create a broad surface and select the previous low quality mesh. Okay, I rename it to particle. All right, 
So what we did is uh, we first created the low poly version of our original mesh, and then with a second type flow setup, we placed the particle point for the skin. So we now go to uh, the original mesh and we apply the tie particle skin modifier to it and select the particle we created previously. So we have our original mesh, which is skinned with the particle of the low poly mesh. And finally, we go to Elpo, Tie Actor, and create a Tie Actor. Now we can select the mesh. Okay, it's over for the mesh configuration. Now we are going to create uh, the particle system. Okay, so we create a new title setup, open editor, and as in the previous version, we create a simple icon flow. We move mesh and shape, don't need. I move the windows and we move the editor wherever we want in the scene. We have our particles, okay, great. I increase the speed a little. Okay, now create an actor. I put it below. And we select the tie actor that we created before. And as we can see, all particles are generated from the tie actor. Perfect. We now create a shape and we link our director to the shape. We go to shape, we go down to the menu, variation at zero, and in mesh we select 3D. You can choose sphere if you want, but I personally have better result with not. Okay. We now want to apply physics to the object, so we will add a physics shape. Okay, it works, but uh, it's still not perfect because uh, the particles generated from shape go all over the place and it deform our mesh. To fix the problem, we will simply apply a physics bind, which uh, will uh, link the shape inside our mesh. I put it below. And good, it's already much better. We can go now in time step and uh, decrease it to finally have a better simulation. Okay, perfect. We can add, as usual, a turbo smooth modifier to smooth the mesh, and yeah, works perfectly. And yes, just one thing, if you want a little more randomness in your simulation, don't hesitate to add a rotation which will generate your particles with a different rotation. Okay guys, you know as the two best method in my opinion to create somebody depending on the situation and the mesh you have. I hope you found this tutorial useful and we will see you soon for other project and tutorial. Bye.